It's an exciting time of the year and people are busy decorating their homes, schools, and churches for Christmas. And what would Christmas be without poinsettias? Have you ever wondered why this plant? And where did it come from? As with most things, it has a history. The plant is native to Mexico and flourishes in a southern area known as Taxo del Arlacón. And the Aztecs called it, just check the screen out, because I'm not even going to try to uh, pronounce that. The poinsettia becomes a large shrub, and because it is a short day plant, meaning that once the, the day length gets to a certain point, it will flower. And these are actually bracts, not flowers. And these are the flowers right here in the middle. A brack is a modified leaf. The plant had many purposes besides just decoration, such as they extracted a purplish dye from the bracts and used it to dye textiles and it was used in cosmetics. And if you were to break a stem, it has a milky sap, which we call latex, and they would make a preparation from that in order to treat fevers. Robert Poinsett, who lived from 1779 to 1851, is the origin of the name of the plant, the poinsettia. And he was the son of a French physician, and he was the first ambassador to Mexico under President Madison. And he was very much interested in botany, and uh, he brought back some samples to his uh, plantation back in 1828. He had some hot houses. And um, <clears throat> by the way, another interesting fact about Mr. Poinsett is he was the one that started this institution that we now call the Smithsonian. I thought it was kind of cool. Now he was really impressed by the brilliant red blooms, which as I've already told you, though, those weren't the actual flowers. Those are the modified leaves called bracts. And he started propagating them in his uh, South Carolina propagation houses. Well, since he had this new discovery, he decided to send some to his friends around the United States. And they found their way to a man named Mr. Buist. And what he uh, did was he was thought to be the first person to sell them under the botanical name as uh, uh, a plant to, to be desired. Now, the name Poinsettia was thought to come into use, practic, uh, common use, about 1836, about a year before Michigan became a state. Later on, Congress honored Mr. Poinsett by setting December 12th, the anniversary of his death, as National Poinsettia Day. Now, how many of you knew that? Now, you know, this date of his death is kind of heavy, but the day was meant to honor Mr. Poinsett and encourage people to enjoy the beauty of this popular holiday plant. Just how popular is it? Today, the Poinsettia has grown in all 50 states with about 34 million plants sold. Now remember, not all plants are sold, so there are probably some that uh, just get thrown out. But California leads the way in production in terms of six million pots. And the Poinsettia is the number one potted plant in the United States, and it accounts for 23% of the total. Now, most people are familiar with the red poinsettia, but there are cultivars that have bracts of different colors, such as pink, white, yellow, variegated pink and white, uh, salmon color, etc. And there are new cultivars being released frequently. Sometimes you may see a purple or a blue poinsettia, but these are painted. And when you go to buy a poinsettia at the store, there are some tips for buying the best plants. First of all, remember, handle them carefully because the branches are very brittle. They're very sensitive to cold, so when you buy one, you want to be sure that it is wrapped up, usually in plastic, and you are taking it to a heated car. And if you're going to be doing some other shopping where the car will cool off, it's best to buy, buy your poinsettias last. One of the secrets to buying a good poinsettia is to know how old the plant is. If you look at the top here, remember I told you these are the bracts, and in the middle here are the flowers. And the younger plants, you will see unopened flowers. As they get over, you'll start to see the stamens with the pollen on them. And then finally, as they get older, then the flowers will fall off and you'll still see the bracts. 
and the best plants are the ones that are the youngest ones just before the uh, pollen is visible. Those plants will last the longest. Now, uh, in general, uh, poinsettias will do quite well for most of the holidays if you take care of them, and I'll cover how to take care of them in another video. But one thing you should remember is you can keep these and grow them during the summer. You can propagate more of them, and then you can uh, get them to flower so that they'll be ready around Christmas. And I'm gonna try a, a video where I actually do that in 2019, and you can tell me how it is. We'll see if it's successful. I will show you whether it fails or whether it's successful, either way. So I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Hanukkah and a Happy, uh, I guess it's Kwanzaa, and did I miss anything? Happy New Year, Merry Christmas. I think that covers all of them, and I hope you enjoy this video. Bye.